Hello, gardening friends. Today is November 11th. It's a Friday. And uh, it's been an odd morning so far. <laughs> I'll tell you about it as things progress. But I thought I would take some time and show you that the Brugmansia, the yellow one, is beginning to open. It is in full bloom on that side, but I can't get to it. And the Solanaceae are in bloom today. I actually noticed there's a lot blooming today, so I'm going to try and cover it all. There you can see the blossoms of the Laura Petalum. Laura Petalum make really good pot plants. It uh, keeps them restricted and you can trim them. It's a nice purple flower and purple plant as well. Well, it's been a strange day <laughs> of noises. My neighbor locked herself out of her car, and when they came to open the door, they couldn't shut off her car alarm. So I tried about three times to do this video. So we're just going to have some noise. <laughs> That's it. You can see my Oklahoma rose is in bloom. It is quite fragrant, and this time of the year the roses do last outside, so I let them stay on the plants. I cut back my pineapple sage. I think I'll take it out of this pot and plant it in the ground, as it is a perennial. Here you can see the golden chalice vine. This is the three-day-old blossom, two-day-old blossom and one yet to come. And here you can see these are the beginnings of blossoms on that particular plant. That was a cutting from this other plant. And here is my Jimson weed or Datura. And this is the seed pod. It's also a nickname for it is thorn apple. Yes, a lot is in bloom. The ligularia have finally opened. And here you can see the yellow flowers. Yellow daisy like flowers, that's about well, it's up to my mid-chest, so I'd say it's probably about four feet tall. There are two more to go. I guess that's my neighbor trying her car. And you can actually see the wandering dude is in bloom. The bees are definitely working over the backyard. Plumbago is still blooming nicely. It looks like all the flowers have finally fallen from the toad lily. My bougainvillea is in bloom. It looks pitiful, but I did cut it back severely this spring and repotted it. Not well, put it in the same pot. I just knocked some soil out, put some fresh soil in. So I wasn't expecting much. A bloom is a plus. Here the Mexican heather is doing fine. These strap-like leaves that you see here, I have four of them in that bed. They are uh, tawny daylilies. They came from up north. They're basically a weed up there, but they remind me of where I grew up in New York State because they grow wild by the sides of the road. Supposedly, they came over on the Mayflower because every part of the plant is edible, and they don't have viable seeds from the wild type, and so therefore all of the plants from the, the tawny daylily have spread from little root cuttings and they're like all over the fence lines up in, uh, well, I came from New York State, but they're basically all up north. 
the uh, wandering dude is really put out a lot of blooms and the bees are just all over my backyard today there's a lot for them to be taking advantage of Iachroma is still blooming I did notice I'm kind of putting off today <laughs> it's one of the reasons I'm doing this video now is I'm soon going to bring out sawhorses out here in front of this deck and bring out the siding and start painting priming it before it goes up I like to prime it I prime it on the inside to keep it from rotting and lo and behold these camellias are blooming this is this whole archway was made up of two camellias this is an atypical bloom it's an unnamed variety these were seedlings uh, typically it's red flaked with a little bit or flecked with a little bit of white and this seems to be just the opposite but it usually is predominantly red with a little bit of white I got this to contrast with I believe it's peppermint which is mostly white flecked with a little bit of red but it is unnamed I got these at the flea market uh, they were sold to me by a little old lady that used to sell camellias from her garden and uh, she wore black horned rim glasses and her hair used to be gray hair used to be made up in a beehive hairdo so I think of her I don't remember her name well I never really knew her name oh she smoked too like a chimney even if you just walked into her little display at the flea market you'd walk out your clothes would reek of cigarette smoke but be that as it may <laughs> This brings her to mind. <laughs> the other thing that's really in full bloom now and uh, is not being worked over quite as much as it was earlier today, which is why I was wanted to take the video, but uh, the bees were really working over the the fatsia blossoms, there you see one, just intently going after the fatsia blossom. There must be something about fatsias that really attracts them because they're coming to this rather than the four trees of uh, loquats that I have. So there's something that attracts them to the particular plant I guess I don't know exactly what it is but there you have it you can see the loquat is still have to get out of the Sun they're all in full bloom and actually it's kind of sickening to be back here now because the flowers are so intense they're so intense that I can smell them inside my den they're permeating the walls of my house of course I have single pane windows so it's probably just coming through those Let's see, what else? Of course, in a couple of weeks will be Thanksgiving. And so I will definitely be making my cranberry kumquat relish. Kumquats are ready. I bought my cranberries. Looking forward to that. My yellow knockout rose is blooming. It has a nice lemon scent. It's the only knockout rose that does have a scent. My Encore Azaleas, that's Autumn Carnation, and the Satsumas are really ripening up nicely. I'll pick a few right around Thanksgiving. I leave them on the tree. I leave them on the tree until I go to eat them, because once when you pick them, they have a shelf life. They last longer on the tree. And if we have a hard frost, I might be tempted to take them down if it's a just dips a little and not a hard frost I leave them on the tree a hard frost will cause them to, to sort of turn to mush inside the, the rinds I still have 
butterfly gingers blooming over here. It's just a riot of fragrance back here between the knockout roses, the gingers, and the loquats, although the loquats are winning just because of the sheer number of blossoms that they have. And I guess that's about it for today. Unfortunately, that means I have to get out the sawhorses and start painting some siding. <laughs> so I'll talk to you another time. Have a good day.